almost all day on Osiris Mitchell, the big 6'5 wide receiver from Mississippi State. Zach Long puts toe to leather, and we are underway in the Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. And that's Griffin on the return. He gets a great return pass midfield, and Mississippi State is set up in great field position. November, he is hot late in this season. Rodgers quickly to the outside. Pass is complete. That's going to be a first down for the Bulldogs. Starts from five yards downfield rather than in the backfield. Now the give and a lot of room for Marks inside the 10. He'll score. A rarity for the Bulldogs. A rushing score. This is good, good on the jet sweeps as well. Now Smith back to pass flushed out of the pocket. He's going to get brought down. Errol Thompson, the captain of this defense, brings him down for a sack. He is excited to be back in this game. He got ejected in the Mizzou game for a targeting call. Got picked up the sack, so we go from second and two to third and eight. Bulldogs bring some pressure. Pass is short. Was it caught? The officials are going to say yes. It's real quick. I mean, he is throwing the ball almost 40 yards towards that sideline. Three here. Bulldogs showing pressure. They come with it. Picked up initially. Out in the flat, that's going to be a first down. Right tackle, second team, all AAC. So let's keep an eye on that on the right side of this offensive line for Tulsa. Nice move by Crawford. Safety, so this offense has scored one touchdown and one field goal through eight games in the first quarter this year. Smith's going to get brought down here. Pass rush led by Aaron Brule. A lot more. See if they bring him again on this third and eight. Bring it just four. Smith has time. Now he's flushed out. Will he be able to pick it up with his legs again? This time can't make Brule miss, and it's going to bring up fourth down. Got a flag on the play. Let's check the laundry. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense, number 73. That's his first of the ball game. The 15-yard penalty is enforced from the spot of the foul. Third down. Dylan Couch. Number 73 on the left side of your screen. As he trails around, watch him come in from the left side. Oh, right there, jumps on the bottom of the screen. You can't. So Tulsa's moving the wrong way. This very impressive drive is now going in the wrong direction on third and 23. Smith has all kinds of time going to the end zone in the double coverage. Ball was up for grabs and knocked away. Potent offense, UCF, uh, Cincinnati, some really good opponents in this AAC this year. Third and six, Johnson. Over the middle, but a nice job tracking down the receiver to Darren Ray. Fourth down and seven play clock was down to a second, but Smith got it off. Pocket collapsing, and he's going to go down. First and 15 now for the Bulldogs. Pressure on the edge, and down goes Rodgers. That time, Evans just vacated his coverage responsibility and went for the quarterback sack and got it. Pressure again. Two sacks in a row for this Golden Hurricane defense. This time, Tyree Stevenson, big cat, shows that cat-like quickness. Rodgers and company. And they'll just hand the ball off, and Dylan Johnson will try to see what he can do. It's a close to midfield, but Jackson player brings him down. It's going to be fourth and long. As we start the second quarter, Tulsa in the football, going right to left on your dial here, but facing a second and 12. Smith pumps, now goes deep, has his receiver. Great passing catch. J.C. Santana hauls it in first down Tulsa. And that's what you know, Phil Montgomery credited his, his quarterback to having just nerves of steel. Oof. Right now three times. First two, they weren't able to get any points. Bulldogs coming with some pressure out in the flat. Complete. Close to a first down. Zach Smith has Corey Taylor in the backfield with him. He'll look to throw. Bulldogs bring five, but Smith has time. Now he steps up. Tried to find his receiver in the end zone. On the center. Better watch out. Flagged him. Do have a flag down as Long makes the kick. Thing back. Pressure coming and they get him. Tulsa brought just three, but Anthony Goodlow, the Jackson player, converged on Rodgers and brought him down. Wait, his situation on look. the defense. <laughs> He's like, we could score, we could score now, but. Defense is playing well. Maybe when they had Alex Grinch for a couple of years at Washington State. Other than that, it's always been about the offense. Good job on this punt coverage team, though. That's one area where both of these teams have done very well today. Flag on the play. The play was over. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Return team number two threw the ball at an opponent. 
fake to Taylor. Now over the middle. Good pitch and catch. Santana stays on his feet, bounces off a defender. He'll get to midfield and then some. Finally pushed out of bounds after a big game. Santana, he's on the field. Doug yep. does a fantastic job. Smith now rolling out. As his receiver just lost it. That long pass earlier in this drive. It seems like maybe that was the big second quarter play that's going to give him that burst. Second and seven, now first and ten. Taylor bouncing off would-be tacklers and gets inside the ten. He is an absolute player. He's always around the football, so smart. Pressure up the middle. And down goes Smith. That was Tims, Sherman Tims. Another one for this Bulldog defense. Nice job by Cannon Montgomery. Somewhere Tom Luganville is looking at Ian Fitzsimmons green with envy. Out in the mud in the rain. You'd have to mix Marks and Witherspoon in the backfield. Give the marks. Low is his shoulder. Good finish on that run. Gives him a couple more yards. And now the Bulldogs are on the move. Game as well. Pressure coming on the outside. Down goes Rogers again. This time it was Hayden Grant who got there. From Rogers. Give the marks. Bounces it outside. First down. Now cuts back inside. 20. Down to the 15. Great cut by Marks to get free and get that extra 10 yards. Exactly. He stuck to his guns. Rodgers still looking upfield. Now he'll run it. Can he get to the end zone? Yes, he does. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Continue to get press coverage. Second down and 11. Has a receiver over the middle. That's Stokes. Just dragged down by his shirt tail. Let three of the four come from behind victories for Tulsa this year. Big hole at the middle. Look at Taylor running people over. Wow. Now the fake to Taylor using that slant again. He, he's not going to share it right here. But <laughs> right. No, right. He's not going to share it on ESPN. No. This may be six. Good run by Prince and he gets in. Tulsa bounces back utilizing the ground game. And then Eric Prince scores their first touchdown of the day. Jersey's all muddy. I know Hurts looks at admiring that. Just needs a little bit of blood. His or somebody else's. It doesn't matter at this point. Another big return. This guy is unbelievable. Griffin again inside the 40. Will he go the distance? He will. So far this game, returning kickoffs. And you see this one's even a short one. But throws off the coverage a little bit. Great blocking by this return team. You see if he steps out of bounds. That left foot might have caught some of that white way before. And looks like they're going to bring it back. They called him out yeah, of bounds. Yeah, they called him out. Those situations. Another opportunity. Fourth down. Tulsa's defense steps up. And this one won't even be close. You see just sitting in that hole of the zone defense. Good pitch and catch. Smith going for it all. And this one's intercepted. To the 40. Has blockers in front of him. To the 50. Still on his feet. Forbes may score, and he will. The true freshman for the third time this year takes an interception to the house. Ended up being diagnosed with a, a, a life-threatening situation where he had to get surgery on the base of his skull. And look at that block kick. But he's, but he's come back. Piece of it. Pressure, but he may have gotten it away. Oh, he did. He just couldn't. Just chunked it. Didn't get any of it. And they They're going to do hard count. They're going for it. Mm. To give to Taylor, and he just powers his way for a first down. You Mississippi State comes with some pressure up the middle. Smith gets rid of it. Complete inside the 10, and it looks like that might be enough for a first down. Rodgers was there for the reception, and it will be. It'll be first thing. Kids. To give to Taylor. He bounces it outside. Sheds a tackler, and he'll score. See the running back cuts the edge, and they roll out. Taylor stays in the block. Smith to the end zone, incomplete. Try to hook up with Keelan Stokes. They're saying, look, we're going to we're gonna let you throw these check down swing passes. We just got to come down and tackle them. Johnson, another good gain, six yards. Leach has adjusted and called some of these design runs as this game's winding down. 
Johnson just banging his way for a couple along the line of scrimmage. Now this might be a free play. Rodgers does get a free play and finds his receiver over the middle. Something that swing game. Tulsa coming with some pressure. It's picked up. Rodgers beautifully to Wally. Rodgers looking to throw. Steps up into the pocket to the end zone. Has a man open. That's Griffin for the score. He's been so dynamic all day long in the return game. And now he is catered with a reception. Third down and eight for Tulsa. Mississippi State bringing some pressure. Smith gets it away and has a receiver complete to Stokes. And field with Smith. Fake to Taylor. Smith out to the flat. Low, but caught by his receiver. First down. Long drives. Smith to throw. Steps up. Completes. That's Stokes. Shakes one tackler. Inside the 20 down to the 18. Smith. Could run it if he chooses to. He does. And he's close to that first down marker. Third down again. Four down distance. Smith. That's intercepted. Weed has it at the 20. Gets a block to the 30. Now cuts it back inside. Pat the quarterback at midfield. Look at the big fellow run. Got a flag down. Then the Weed's finally going to be dragged down at the 40, but a big defensive play. And if this is post possession, it's a huge play for Mississippi State. As he gets the ball work towards the sideline. And during the return, personal foul, illegal blindside block, return team, number 40. Uh, a 15 yard penalty being scored from the spiral of foul. First down to 10, Mississippi. Conditions, this should not be an indication of, of what they've been able to, to accomplish this season. Well, again, you think you know, you hit it right on the spot and playing a team out of the SEC, you know, to be just consolidated to this year. I think it could be something that happens in the future, especially as we see these group of five teams being getting better and better. This one's picked off over the middle. Do you have a flag down? Pass interference. Defense. So there is a reprieve for Smith, clearly. Smith quickly. That's Stokes. Inside the 20. Keep in mind, Tulsa out of timeouts. Oh, you need a field goal. Kick it now. Smith. Looking to the end zone. In the back. Touchdown. Keelan Stokes keeps Tulsa alive. Sport, Tulsa wants to, as you said, squid it right through there. Zach Long with the kick bounces high in the air. And Williams can't quite corral it at first, but he does on the second go around. And that's why he's in that spot right behind that first line of defense. It's almost that's always Juan Carlos on Santana, who's down for Tulsa. Yeah, what? That's, that's e roll Thompson. See how he's attacking? See how he comes and attacks right. and lays the lumber before the ball has gone five yards. To, to me, that's the penalty comes in. One final snap for Mississippi State, and that should do it. Bulldogs are going to finish the season four and seven. A good win to wrap things up to build on for 2021. And Mike Leach's second year. As for Coach Montgomery in the Tulsa Golden Hurricane, really good season. Played for the American Athletic Conference Championship. Fell in that game and put up a good fight today. Just came up a little shy to Mike Leach and the Mississippi State Bulldogs.